Ah, give me some space! Hello dudes and dudesses, welcome to a video about Shulker Show Farms, or rather a Shulker Show Farm, the one behind me, a simple one-dimensional farm. I will be doing an actual block by block tutorial eventually, but my community have been asking for this for quite a while now and I wanted to get it out there for you guys so I'm leaving a world download in my Discord community as always and in this video I will explain how the farm works, how to set it up and what rates you can expect in the two modes of operation. And speaking of time. I have spent close to 100 hours developing and testing this farm and as I have a full-time job and a family on the side or, or is it the other way around? Maybe, maybe Minecraft's on the on the side. I don't know. Either way, I would really appreciate a like or that you share this channel with a Minecraft friend. Thank you. With that out of the way, why a one-dimensional farm and why this one? Why my farm? Why not just build the one Ilmango and Sycraft outlined five minutes after the first 117 snapshot was out? It produces more than 200 shells an hour as I remember. And more so, it's very easy to build. Just two large portals in the overworld and a normal one and some minecarts in the nether and a lot of buttons. Much easier than any one-dimensional farm out there. Well, one consideration is, do you really need that many shulker boxes? But that rarely holds anyone back in my experience. So another is the transportation of shulkers to the overworld. It's a rather big undertaking that many probably will shy away from. On a big server or in a forever world, it may very well be worth the effort, but for a casual player in a single player world, maybe not so much. In the description I will link to two videos that shows transportation of shulkers that hasn't really changed since 1.9. One is also a good tutorial on how to build a multi-dimensional farm by a guy called Real Jaden. And no, I don't know the guy, I hope he's a good guy, uh, but I don't get kickbacks or anything like that. I just think it's a very good video in my opinion. But I digress. A one-dimensional farm is basically if you don't want the hassle of transporting a shulker, potentially thousands of blocks. I mean, you could build one of these in the overworld, but that really would make no sense. They're meant to be built in the end, close to an end city, for easy access to shulkers. Then the obvious question, why build this one? There are already a good handful out there. Because it's easy to build, fairly easy to understand, and it has decent rates. Remember, you cannot compare to the multi-dimensional farms, as one of the main factors is the time it takes to clear the spawning area of shulkers, and nothing beats a portal for that. Some designs use water, some minecarts. Mine uses a mix of the two. Some have complicated clocks and redstone to secure that the original shulker does not die. Mine rotates the central shulker in a way that there's always one there with the enough health. Most farm uses a snow golem to aggro the shulker. Mine just uses the player. Most farms are fully AFKable. Uh, mine gives you the option to kill the shulkers yourself using a looting 3 sword and thus increasing the chances of a shell dropping from 50 to 68 something percent. So, with that said, Let's take a look at the farm. First off, you may not think it looks simple, but uh, there's not really much going on. The outline box is the spawning area of 17 by 17, which is the area that a shulker is able to split to when hit by a shulker bullet. And as you can see, uh, it fits snugly into a chunk, uh, really, uh, except one block. And these uh, orange ones that stick out here is 
the distance that when we move the shulker away from the uh, spawning area, it will go out here and won't be able to teleport back. If we look at the layers, there are six identical layers down here. And well, except for the two in the middle, there are slightly changes to make room for the part with the central shocker. But let's just see how it works. We put down a shocker right here and it is rather quickly picked up by a minecart and transported away from the area and out to this pillar right here where we use water to flush it down like this and onto this small platform right here outside the spawning area. Then we have minecarts. We have this uh, automatic minecart station that uh, dispenses minecarts when it's full. Two, always two, always uh, a bit apart. They pick up the shulkers from the platform and drive them all the way around and put them here in this reservoir, as I call it, of shulkers. Now this one is able to go up to be killed by the player or to go into the farm and be recycled. Now this one down here, this minecart, will pick up uh, a shulker, take it up here, go in there and exchange the shulker in there so that it always has a health that allows it to split into another shulker. In this reservoir down here, there's in fact three shulkers. And if I just send off some minecarts again, I will be able to show you. Let's just put in this and this. There they go. And they pick up some shulkers down there and come back. And if I slow down the footage, you will see that it actually takes up a shulker and leaves it like that and like that and there's actually three in the pile so the one that goes on is a surplus shulker so to speak and the surplus shulker is able to as i said go up there and be killed by the player or go in there and replace the central shulker let's just go into the part where the player and the shulker central shulker is and in here you'll be standing and you'll be having a full inventory so nothing can go into it and let's make a time lapse now to see so you can see how it works you need to have a looting three salt with sharpness five <laughs>
let's uh, go out and see if the farm is still alive and now you've seen it from the player perspective and yes it is there are shulkers there and the, the reservoir is intact and there's a shulker shell after us and the central shulker is there fine then let's just go down and see what the rate is how much have we gotten 56 shells that's kind of average maybe a bit low uh, we had 88 shulkers so yeah yeah uh, the normal rate is uh, about uh, 55 to 70. as i said in the beginning this farm has two modes uh, a looting mode and a fully afk mode over there that automatically kills the shulkers and if you want to set up that it's quite easy we have this uh, rail right here it goes out there and is killed and we just have to divert the uh, the minecart it goes on a clock so half the time it goes to the killing chamber and half of the time it goes uh, into the platform in there so it also can replenish the central shocker so it goes around here it's dropped off into water that's uh, that's uh, drowning the shockers and then it goes back here and then we need to uh, switch this one so it doesn't go up to the manual killing chamber it just goes around here and back like this let's just uh, try and put in some minecarts again so we can see it for ourselves again it will be two minecarts going like this all the way around just as before except now it won't go up to the tower it will either go in here it will go there place one there that uh, can go into the central uh, tower or be um, picked up uh, and go around again or it will when it's over on this side go over there and drop it off in the water where it will be drowned and the rates of course are lower in afk mode around uh, 45 per hour i think before we look at the central part i have to address the fishes yes there are a lot of fishes because i built it over an ocean so yeah that's just how it is deal with it uh, it's not part of the farm the central part has the minecart sitting in here it's uh, has two pieces of uh, soul sand there because it's one pixel lower so it can uh, see uh, the player on the other side of the lava and the way it works is that it opens up fully shoots a bullet it goes back and uh, hits itself again and then if the conditions are right uh, it will split uh, this down here we actually don't need that anymore you can build the farm without it it was just me testing if uh, okay but down there if uh, the shulker ever died in the place now if we go down to uh, the part here this is where the player is standing and uh, behind the lava which is the trick from uh, racework uh, you can see there is a shulker right there and if i put on uh, uh, tuk, 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 like this you can see that it has eye contact with me you can see the red line right there and if i put it in uh, survival you can see how it uh, is able to see me and will shoot at me and it will fire a bullet it will go back and it will hit it okay that's a good example because it was a low on health below 25 percent and then it teleported away this is why we have to change out the central shulker in this farm and that's why we have this rail where it can go in and be uh, replaced by another one As you can see, I have another part down here. That's uh, just outside the spawning area of the central shocker. And that part, uh, that part right around here, I don't know. Yeah, there's a shocker in there. It's just the same as the one up there. It has a shocker that's able to uh, shoot out bullets and hit itself. Uh, the way it works is that uh, uh, they actually work a bit like uh, Pikmin they aggro when one is aggro the other aggro but you can see that the area that this one uh, is able to split into is different
than the central one. So it can in fact split to over here and it can split into the farm as well. Um, honestly, this is a complicated uh, <laughs> mechanics. Uh, I just fooled around until I uh, discovered that this actually makes the farm more stable and increases the rate. So um, that's why I have it there. All right. Luckily, I have never had this farm die on me, but that is probably also the last thing you want to do. You, you, the reason you have this is that you don't want to transport shulkers in the first case. And that's why I have this reservoir behind me. Should it ever happen that the farm died out, it's easy to start up again because you will always have this reservoir to make it work again. You don't have to go out and find another shulker in an in-city. The way it works is you deactivate that, you send in a minecart and it picks up one and places it right there. So, and then you just wait for the minecart to come around again because you don't want it to pick it up and you grab it. And then the other minecart that is sent off by the clock will pick it up and move it up there and put it in place. And now the farm is ready to go again. As I said, I've never had that problem with this farm, but I wouldn't want to have it. So that's why I'm having this reservoir over there. The redstone in this farm is crazy easy. It's just three hopper clocks. This one has one three quarter stacks and sends off the minecart that uh, goes into the central. This one uh, has 21 in it and controls the water that uh, flushes them down. And this one has uh, 45 in it, I think, and is only in use when you want to shift between the two modes. Then we have this automatic minecart station uh, that sends off the minecart. And when you uh, kill the minecarts right here, they go down to this filter right here, which filters them out from the shulker shells with, uh, that ends in this chest right here. The minecarts go down this hopper line right here, underneath here, and into the dispenser right there. And underneath the stone, there's a comparator, and the redstone makes it go when it's full. I have built the uh, two drop of water elevators of uh, honey blocks uh, with the soul sand underneath. And the reason I use this is because they're slightly smaller than a regular block and uh, shockers don't stick to honey blocks, but uh, you have to use the soul sand to if you want to have a current through it, but it has the same size. So that's just why I use honey blocks uh, different places in the farm. Shockers won't attach to it, so it's easy. Uh, and that's basically the whole farm done. All we have to do now is uh, set it up the first time. This minecart track here, right here is only for bringing in the first shulker. What you do is you turn this activator rail on and it will sh uh, push out the uh, shulker right there. Then you go to the other end of the farm and you make sure that this one that normally always should be on is turned off. Then you put in a minecart on the rails and it will go around and it will skip the reservoir and it will place the shocker right there. Then you need to go over here and make sure that this minecart doesn't go around and picks it up again. So you take it up the minecart and you place it in here and you send it along manually like this and it will go along this track pick up the shulker and do its usual thing and drop it off in the central chamber like this. Then you put in two minecarts that go around and then you switch this one back and you switch this one back and then you go into the central chamber and then you start slaying, you, you go to survival of course, and you start slaying minecarts. Um, and it may take a minute or two, it may take three minutes, but you have to look at, uh, there's a small space right here where you can actually see the central reservoir down there. And what you want to see is a minecart. You see the minecart going around and then you see it at some point depositing a shulker. And when it has deposited three shulkers down there, the uh, farm is ready and uh, secure so that it's even though it should die, which I've never experienced, you will have the reservoir. So you're waiting for this 
just to be absolutely safe and in, as I said there might it might take a few minutes but we zoomed in we're looking for that spot down there and we're waiting for a shocker that's it the shocker is there all right let's just go to creative again and let's go out and check how it is out there now there's only one right now because the others are probably coming i heard it uh, split several times is it coming oh, oh yeah oh i killed the minecarts hang on i need to put in them i need to put in two more minecarts uh and it should collect them down there and there were two okay there already were two so now it put and now there's three in there so now the farm is set up, ready to go, and that's it. All right, dudes and dudesses, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can use it in your world. If you did like it, please remember to leave a like. It helps the channel. If you're brand new and you'd like to see more of this content, subscribe, hit that belly button so you get notified whenever I put out a video. And as I said, I will be building this uh, at block by block at some point. Just uh, be a bit patient. It takes a long time to make videos like this. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>